welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda and I'm also known as the sparkly one. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crocheted boa and it's actually to me looks a little bit more like snowflakes and it's twisted and it's really long but you can make it any length that you want. I decided to make it long because I like how I can wrap it around and it's pretty versatile. Normally I think you would just wrap it around and just let it hang down like this. I feel like I have snowflakes around my neck. I think it's really pretty. And you can wear it many different ways. So you can take it and you can wrap it around like this and throw it over your shoulder. If you make it shorter, you can wear it like this. I think mine's about six feet tall. I think it's a little too long, but and it took forever, but it's so pretty. And they're done in quadruple crochet, quadruple, <laughs> try to say that fast three times, four times quadruple crochets and it just it's going to twist around like this but it kind of just twists on its own so you don't even have to worry about it and it's done there's a long chain and you just go back and you do all the quadruple crochets on it so if you're interested in learning how to make this stay tuned because i'm going to show you how to do it for this project i will be using the bernat baby sport weight yarn and it is in white Let's see, this is the, and here's the tag. See, it says white. And what I love about this yarn is it's soft and it's also lightweight. And you probably could use any size hook that you prefer. It does say to use a four and a half millimeter, which is a size um, seven. I'm using a five and a half millimeter, which is a size I or a nine. So get your hook and your yarn. I'll show you how to make this beautiful snowflake scarf. To start this scarf, it is so easy to do. I love this. It's a great project to just do in front of the TV because there's really not a lot of counting involved and I think that you could do this fairly easily. It is a little time consuming just because there are so many stitches. But all you'll need to do is start with a chain. So you'll chain as many as you want. What I did is I wrapped it around my neck and then I wrapped it around again. And that gave me a lot of stitches. I didn't count them, but it's a lot. So you're just gonna have to measure around your neck and you can make it as long or as short as you want. Just when you make that long chain, all you're gonna do is wrap it around and let it hang down as long as you wanna, um, as long as you wanna make your scarf. So just make sure if you want to wrap it around that you wrap that long chain that you're making, wrap that around your neck, and then that will tell you how long it will be. So again, I made mine about 72 inches, which is six feet, and that's probably a little too long. You could probably shorten it to four feet. I think that would probably be a really good length, and it won't take you as long to make it because it, it took me a couple days, and it's a lot of stitches. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep chaining until you get that length that you desire okay so once you've gotten the length that you desire what you'll do and I'm just going to show you on this small piece right now but I'll show you later what um, I'm doing so at the beginning what you'll do is you're going to count down to the ninth stitch from the hook so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so you're at the ninth stitch you're gonna quadruple crochet okay so you're wrapping that yarn around three times so you'll have a total of four stitches on your hook you're gonna go into that ninth stitch and you're gonna wrap your yarn around make sure you pull that taut wrap it around yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two that's a total of four times okay now this stitch right here you're gonna want three quadruple crochets in each stitch all the way down your chain okay so you're gonna do that again what you're gonna do now going to chain three yarn over three times so you have four um, loops on your hook you're going to go into that space right here 
work out your quadruple crochet. So see I have three in one stitch. So there's one stitch, three. This chain counts as the first quadruple crochet. In between each one, you're always going to do a chain three, okay? So one, two, three. Yarn over three times. And then you're gonna go into the next chain. Now, I know this is a little tricky when it gets to the chains because they start to get a little tight and you can't see where they're at, but there it is. You're gonna go in there and then you're gonna work three more quadruple crochets. See that? You're gonna chain three. and then do another quadruple. So you're gonna have three in every one. So here's three, this one has one, you'll do two more in that one, and then you're just gonna continue all the way down your chain, okay? Until you get to the very end, to that last stitch. So let me show you what this looks like so far. With, see how pretty? It looks like a bunch of like snow, I just love it. Okay. So here is what I have so far. It's really long. And it kind of, it starts to twist on its own, so you don't even have to worry about twisting it. I have about 30 more chains to go. So this is what it's looking like. See all those quadruple crochets? And this is in just one side of the chain. Now what we're gonna do is once we get to the end, we're gonna work back up and make it double-sided. But you can totally leave it like this if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit thinner than it should be, not as ruffly. But see, it twists. Once you hold it up and let it do its own thing, it's gonna twist. So let me go ahead and finish down to my last chains. And then I'm going to show you what to do in that very last stitch. I'm at the very last stitch, so I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So you got to find that. It's a little bit snug, but go ahead and push that through, get that in there. Yarn over. One, two, three, four. Okay. So right here, what you're going to need to do in this very last stitch is you're going to have eight um, instead of three. So go ahead and work eight into that end stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over three times, like you've done a thousand times before. Go into that last hole and work that eight times, okay? So there's three, I have five more to go. So keep working at it, then work right up the side. When you go back into these other ones, and see this right here? That's where you're gonna go into that next stitch. After you do the eight here, you're gonna do three here, and then you're gonna just continue up, back up the side and go in those same spots that you did the three, okay? So have fun doing that, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I'm at the very end. I'm going to be working into that last space. So on the very first um, quadruple crochets that you did here, you would have four into that space. So you'd have your chain nine or eight, whatever that was. It seemed so long ago. Um, and then the three that you did after that. So on this side, you're going to want to do four of the same thing, so it's gonna mirror image it. So you're gonna actually have eight stitches into that last section. So what you'll do is you'll chain three, wrap it over three times, and then just go right into that space. And then you're just gonna work four quadruples into that space, okay? So work those real quick, and I'll be back to join. Here I am, I have four in this side and four in that side, okay? 
Then what you'll do is you're going to do your final chain three. And then you're going to count these stitches here. One, two, three. And in the fourth stitch right there, you're going to do a slip stitch to join. So that's what it should look like when you join it. So really there's eight in that last spot right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And all you're gonna do is weave in your ends and you'll be all finished. But just make sure you leave kind of a long tail on the yarn so that you can weave in and out of these chains because they can come unraveled if you don't make it long enough. So just keep weaving in and out of those stitches like this. Okay, and then you'll be done, yay! Can't wait to see what it looks like. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a wonderful time doing this. It's so pretty and lacy and it looks like snow. <laughs> but you can do it in any color. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Just one giant fluff ball. I love it, it's so pretty. So I'll be right back. I wanted to show you this. This is my um, hook holder. I made this about a year or so ago, and I think it's so great. I love it. It's kept my hooks in there really nice and neat. I made a little wrap that goes around, a little string, and then you open it up, and there you go. There's all of your hooks. And it was so easy, it was just done with, I think that was a double crochet, I'm pretty sure it was. And I just, um, you don't have to make any rows or anything for these, they just automatically um, pop out once you put your hooks in. So if you wanna see how I did this, um, just leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. I can totally show you how to make it. It's really convenient, I love it for um, storing all of my hooks and everything. And I just put the little scissors in there. As you can see, I have the yarn needle right there. And nothing ever really falls out of it other than the scissors, but you don't even have to carry the scissors if you don't want. But it has a lot of storage in here and you can put it in any which way you want. As you can see, I've just kind of thrown them in there because when you're in a hurry, you just shove them in there. But it's so cute and so nice and convenient. And I just love it. It's in my favorite color, pink. And if you want to see that, just let me know. Leave me a little comment and I can totally show you how to make it. I think that would be good for a clown costume. <laughs> Take this and tighten it up like that. So it can be worn like that around your neck. I need a neck lift. You could wear it for a Halloween costume. <laughs>